All right, Motley Crue with the 10 Seconds to Love guitar solo from the Carnival of Sin. So this is a live guitar solo um, CBT lesson for Steve. Steve, you want to tune double flat, which is Motley tuning. Um, in your tabs, it's three pages. You'll see, if you're not sure how to tune that way, um, it's written in there. It's D-G-C-F-A-D. Just remember, D-G-C-F-A-D. So, you ready to jump into some Mick? Molly, the most requested band on my channel. Yeah. Okay. So, I've got an EQ guesstimation as well as effects. Um, Mix using a wah wah pedal in here. And uh, I say we jump right in, man. Let's do it. You wanted also the lead fillers. So, at 21 seconds to 24 seconds, once again, this is off the Carnival of Sin, so it's live. Um, Mick does the first riff. And this doesn't have the wah in it yet, but it goes. Let me do that slow. So, actually, let's just break it down. It's the eighth fret on the B string. I wrote fingering in this. You can change it. Mick has long fingers. Um, I mean, he gets his thumb involved in like some of the chords, which I didn't know that. But uh, my best friend is Les Deal, which is Mick's son. He's the one that pointed that out to me. <clears throat> so I looked at some live stuff, and sure enough, man, on the G chord, Mick will use the thumb. Long thumb, man, and fingers. So you can alter these fingerings as you see fit, but I had to put something down. I, I went with the third, which is probably what Mick's using on this, where a textbook would say use your pinky. So we're going to fret eight on the B, we're bending it a whole step. And there's a rest there, so you're bending it two frets, holding it. Then we're gonna go, and this is right out of pattern one pentatonic minor scale. Um, up on five E, eight seven on the B, and he chops into these with downstrokes right here. It's a cool little run there. So you're gonna go eight seven on the B, and then hit the five B, hammer to seven, pull off back to five. So pick. Only pick that five. And you know, even like, for example, I talk about subgrouping a lot, and I think that's really, if you think that way, you'll get the solo not, not just quicker, but more efficiently, and I think the feel will come together. Of course, you gotta expand out of those subgroups, but the first four notes in, uh, on the second line in your tabs are these. So get familiar with those riffs, up to there. And then go 7-5 on the G and the D. So if you connect those with 8-7-5 on the G, you got... And just kind of shift that third finger right there. Just flatten it down. And then go 7-6-5-3 on the A string and use some pinch harmonics on those. With finger 3, 2, 1, 1. And then open A, second fret D, power chord. I kind of want to catch the chord coming out of the riffs. Um, it just feels more complete that way. I think I did that with uh, the next one too. So this whole riff. Um, the next one comes in at 28 seconds, so just four seconds later there. Um, 28 to 32 seconds. A lot of uh, just kind of whammy bending noise stuff, and it's going to go like this. <laughs> I 
I kid you not. That stuff a lot of guitar teachers just say, ah, just do a little whammy bar or a pick scrape. But I want to show you what Mick's doing. Third fret, low E, middle finger, back it with the index. Bend it two and a half steps. Yes, he does. So um, you're bending the three to sound like the eight. So it's pretty far. While you're there, pull it off to an open. Whammy bar all the way down. Hit the open D and G, but have the bar slightly depressed and go up to pitch, whammy down, and then fret five on the E, approximately, that's why you'll see parentheses around it, up to 15 approximate, and then back down, and then a pick scrape. You'll, so in other words, and then grab the right around fret eight, do another slide to 15, and back. And that's going to lead you into the 577 ADG. So, let's do that again. You can even use your third finger on this bend if you want, because it's two and a half steps is a lot, man. From three to eight. So. Anyways, so that's that part. Um. Um, 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 um. The main guitar solo, that's all that's left. Yep, I believe so. Now, you want the wah wah pedal on at this point. As you press the wah wah pedal, you can see mine down here, I think. Well, kinda. There it is. Um, pressing down, because you're gonna end up going to fret 20 on the B string with your third finger. Back it with a couple fingers. But, uh, like a gas pedal, you know, you And what happens, we're going to pull this back up here now, is mix, um, getting feedback mixed in with the wah-wah pedal, so you'll hear a frequency shift in there, a change over, that's what feedback does, it takes your, your note and tweaks with it and puts a different, almost like a pinch harmonic would do, you know what I mean? You hit a note and then the pinch actually takes it somewhere else. It's the same concept. So to cop that feedback is going to be nearly impossible. That's just a, a little magic thing that seems to happen. Not seems to, that it does. Um, if your amp isn't super loud, you can take your guitar, go up to the amp with these pickups, and kind of angle it like this, and you'll get some feedback as well. <clears throat> All right, so we're bending it. Pedals down, we're getting feedback, and then four whammy hits like, and they're fast. Feedback, one, two, three, four. And then 17B, you're gonna pick, let it ring, and then pull off to an open. Open, so, and then whammy. Okay, now, that's at 217 and 224. Those were those two um, feedback and whammy parts. At 228, you got this riff coming in to play, which is pentatonic pattern one. Mick uses this a lot. Actually, a lot of players do. Um, cool pattern. He goes... Oops. And then I'm going to have to turn the page over. But um, So... Five on the B and E. Kind of shift that finger. Don't lift it like go. And then go eight five B, eight seven five G. So we have seven on the D. And that's actually a pretty good subgroup right there, um, Steve. So like. And then the last line is 5D, pick, hammer 7, pull to 5. Go to 7D, or 7A. 6, 5. And then 3, pick, hammer to 5, pull to 3. So that second half, starting from the hammer pull, would be this. And the whole riff. And he's still not done, but I gotta turn the page over. Okay, um, this part. 
You're gonna do fifth fret on the low E, down, up, down, up, fast, so it's alternate pick. So after you go. Slow it down. That's at the bottom of page one, top of page two. All right, then open D, G, and B. You're gonna whammy down and then back up to pitch. So. When you hear like a warm, that's the pedal being in its back position and you're stomping on it like a gas pedal, like I was saying earlier. And that opens it up to this mid-range nasally tone. You'll hear it in there. Make use Wawa pedals a lot. Okay, so at 231, the Wawa hits um, are all the way up to where you see the star in your tabs. And it's basically every note here, you'll go. Uh, let's see. Five E twice. But press the pedals back, you're gonna pick and step on it each time you hit a note. Oops, twice. On this one, it'll be seven on the D, and then five, go down, down, up. Now the down, up, you just keep the, the pedal down. So it'd be. Let's try it through there. And then go 7 5 G. Twice on the 5 G. That's what we have. Six B, five E, and then one more five E. So the last three notes. Okay, then 235 comes in. We'll just keep that wah in the on position here. 8B, he's back to the pentatonic minor. Do a whole step bend. Oops. So let's break that down. I'll do it one more time a little quicker. So 8E bend, 5 on the E, upstroke, 8B, pull off to 5, and then pick the 8B. So that's already subgrouped, right? So that's a good subgroup to continue just for practice sake. Alright, but he does it a second time, but this time... After the pull off, go 8G, 5B, back to 8G, pull off to 7 and 5, so it's a double pull. So that second one sounds like this. Down, up, down. And then go down, up, down, up. I think I was going to 7th fret uh, earlier, but don't stay on the 5. So. So here's um, from 235. Okay, then 15B middle, 14E first finger. It's a whammy thing. You're going to uh, go. So pick them both, whammy down like not even an inch, a half inch. Bring it back up and then slide it off into nothing. Again. Okay. To keep other strings clean, utilize your palm as if you were palm muting. If you're having issues with other strings bleeding through, don't hesitate, man. That's a good habit to keep your playing clean. All right, after that, I think we're getting ready to go to the other page, almost. 239 is the next subgroup, and it's approximately fret 10 on the B string. The start point's not critical. It's the effect of the slide that Mick's doing. Up to fret 20 on the B. <laughs> 
And as soon as you get there, bend it and then go down up on 17E. So it's, oops. And then it kind of repeats these. Um, you'll do it again without the bend. Down, down, up, 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 20E down, 20 up, down, bend it, um, four frets, which is two steps. From this to this. Right? And then we're almost done, and then I'll go over this part again. Pre-bend 20B. Actually, no, let's, let's go ahead and recap this. The 10B sliding up, right? The basic concept is going to be bend and then 17, 17 on the E. Right? So that's up to the uh, two-step bend, and then this next riff is 20B, but it's a pre-bend. Now Mick is coming off of this four-fret bend on the high E20, right? So what you do is just grab the 20B, which is sticking out right there anyways, you're already touching it, pick and release it down, right? So you went... And then fret 20 on the B, just bar it with your third finger. Take your middle finger and just to mute the above strings. And he's just, he's, he's using the wall appeal. He's got it in the back position here. It's down, up, down, up. It's just a bunch of down, ups as he's sliding to around fret five, like. Except he'll kind of do this a few times while he's doing it, like. And then you'll go to 3E, slide up to around 12, slide back to around 3, slide up to around 8, slide back to 3. So it's like, wait, let's try that again. 312, 383. And that's where it ends. So, a really quick thing on that end part I want you to see. Can we see the wawa pedal here? I do believe we can. I need to scoot it back. Um, so here's the thing. We're doing the 20 on the G and B barred. It's so, like I said, you can hear it doing this. Um, the higher mid-rangey trebly sound is that pedal being pushed down. I don't even know if you have a wah pedal, but you know, to do the solo, I mean, you were pretty specific about wanting this live version, so there's things you like knew in your mind that you really liked about it. <coughs> and I like to do, you know, get these with the same effects and everything as close as possible with what I got here um, for you guys. So, anyways, Steve, if you have questions, let me know. Um, appreciate it. You have my cell number, so text me, and I'm going to get this stuff sent over to you.